Good morning. You're listening to Dr. Heather Williamson, the Leadership Doc, host of Talking Leadership. And I have a guest in the studio today by the name of John Karusik. That's right. Awesome. Thank you very much. And he is with the Department of Virginia Department of Aging and Rehabilitative Services. And his current role is a workforce development specialist, which is, I think, your whole agency, I think, is a fabulous agency for the oh, state. Thank you. I really do. And uh, and so I wanted to have you on the show really because you offer resources for businesses that I don't think most businesses are aware of. That is true. That is true. I know. So if you don't mind, John, you know, tell a little bit about yourself and what DARS, you know, abbreviation is all about. All right. So like she said, I'm John Karusik. Uh, I'm a workforce development specialist. Um, I'm also known as a placement counselor. So basically once um, folks come into our office, we get them into placement and we find them work. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's what I do. And I work for the DARS Greater Richmond office off of Maywell. We have several offices throughout the state. Mm -hmm. and, and so your the agency helps any business within the whole state of Virginia. The state of Virginia. And uh, DARS, in case anybody out there doesn't know, it's the Virginia Department for Aging and Rehabilitative Services. Right. That's what it stands for. And so what does that entail? So our mission is basically to improve employment. That's our, um, and then quality of life, security, independence of older Virginians, Virginians with disabilities, and their families. Mm -hmm. So that's our uh, mission, our charge uh, to Virginia. And we offer disability services. We have assistive technology. Uh, there's brain injury services, independent living, um, also vocational assistance and employment services. Um, so individuals with disabilities, basically what they do, they'll call one of our local offices, mm -hmm. they'll get sent a, a pack, um, or they can pick up the paperwork and then we'll deem them eligible for services. And then they'll meet with a vocational counselor. After they meet with the vocational counselor, they'll meet with placement. Um, and then I work together with our business development manager, like Wes Seaton, uh, to get them placed in this general area. Mm -hmm. So what... Are uh, what disabilities should businesses be thinking about that could help them that you all would be a great resource for? So any uh, people with disabilities. So uh, you can have seen or unseen disabilities. You could have um, you know seen disabilities like blindness or hearing impairment. You could have unseen disabilities like uh, PTSD mm -hmm. or people dealing with anxiety issues. Um, and we also can foster a class through windmills where we go and we train businesses um, to kind of have a um, kind of a better, not I won't say better, but basically a, um, a, a good understanding of what disabilities are mm -hmm. and how they can work in the workforce area. How can they work for the business? Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes people have certain biases and we all have those biases right. that we don't and are not aware of, but um, we can find out what those biases are and work through them through that windmills training. There's like 12 different um, places that or 12 different uh, things that we go through sessions. And we usually do one or two with uh, mm -hmm. the business to kind of feel better looking at people with disabilities. You start off with you can't do, you can't do. Right. You're thinking, I'm not going to hire somebody with a disability because they're not going to be able to perform at the level that I want. Yeah. That's what people would be, be thinking. Yeah. So it's all can't. And, uh -huh. and then um, going through that windmills training and working with us, business services at DARS, you find that you can Yeah. and that people can. Mm -hmm. And so when you really start embracing that, it becomes more of ability than disability. Mm -hmm. And that's where we like to put our focus um, so that's how we kind of get them in and get them acclimated. And then, like I said, we have offices all throughout the state in this area, Greater Richmond, Chesterfield, Fredericksburg, and Petersburg, mm -hmm. where we have offices. So what's the process, really? If somebody was thinking about, you know, I've got some job openings. I mean, what are the skill sets that most people that are that you're placing in with businesses? So we have we run the whole gambit. So we have people from, um, you know, in pre-ETS, which is um, basically through all the schools. We're in every single school. Mm -hmm. um, so we start in the schools. So we have uh, kids probably 16 or, or younger. And then we go all the way up. So we have people with GEDs, we have people with bachelor's degrees, master's degrees. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people um, with disabilities are looking for part-time work mm -hmm. um, because that's kind of, you know, in a supplement to their income for disability insurance right. through um, Social Security admin. So they're looking for 
um, jobs are part-time, but not all of our people are looking for part-time. They're looking for full-time jobs too. So we look in different industries like the service industry, you know, hospitality. Um, we look at uh, food service. Mm -hmm. We look at um, security. Um, we look at a lot of different jobs. It just depends on the individual. It depends on the client um, and kind of what their goal is with their vocational counsel, what they've decided their goal was going to be, what training they've had. So everybody's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We work with companies all throughout um, Virginia trying to get them, you know, acclimated. Um, and then we offer all kinds of different incentives as well. And you also uh, help with those individuals who have disabilities gain the skills, train, and then credentialing. credentialing. So what's the credentialing about? So they can get credentials through um, the Community College Workforce Alliance or other training organizations. So like, for example, if somebody wants to drive trucks, they can get mm -hmm. a CDL. If somebody wants to get into the medical field, they can get a CNA license. Um, if they wanted to get into food service, we can get their serve safe or safe serve. I always say it backwards, which I, <laughs> I always have that backwards. Um, but they can get any kind of thing that you can think of as a credential, they mm -hmm. can do. Um, and in um, um, part of the state, we have Woodrow Wilson, which is mm -hmm. Wilson Workforce Center now. And they um, train on all kinds of industries. And you can get you know, drone, you can get warehouse, you can work on automobiles. They have, they have cars in there and there's wow. oil changes and everything. So we send people up to Woodrow Wilson, uh, Wilson Workforce Center to get those uh, trainings as well. In this area, we're, we're like one of six or eight in the United States mm -hmm. that we're, it's right here in our backyard. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And we, I know we have lots of manufacturing around here, especially the growth, you know, Legos just coming in, yeah. which we we're talking about earlier. Yeah, so, and, you know, a lot of other companies uh, around the Chester area, a lot of manufacturing down yeah, there. Yeah, so Warehouse is a big one for us, too, mm -hmm. um, getting folks into those jobs, forklift jobs, and um, we can get them into those certifications. Um, we can get them into Amazon, um, mm -hmm. other places like that. So anybody that's looking to do work, um, warehouse, um, office work, mm -hmm. we have jobs in office work. So anything that you can think of, any business that you have out there and you're looking to hire folks with disabilities, we can get more disabilities, uh, people with disabilities into your organization. Mm -hmm. It's a great resource for if you're not even thinking about it. Um so what is DAR's business services financial incentive to employers? So we have um, several um, financial incentives for employers, and one is work experience. So sometimes, you know, we get folks that have been trained mm -hmm. and they need a little bit of work experience. So we want to get that person into your company. And DAR's um, has um, the insurance where they can get them into your company and everything is safe. They'll get that work experience that they can put on a resume. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes that work experience is paid. So if somebody um, has gotten out of high school um, or gotten out of college, they could get eight to 12 weeks of paid work experience. Um, and so we also do on the job training as well, where mm -hmm. they'll get funding um, through on the job training. And that um, is a 50 percent. Um, in, or decrease for the employer. So say if they put somebody in at $12 an hour, mm -hmm. we're giving them $6 of that $12 for eight or 12 weeks um, of that time frame, And they will have to pay that. And then also a lot Which of- Which is a huge savings yes. for businesses. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's totally huge. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's big. Um, and workforce opportunity tax credit. A lot of people uh, through the automatic tracking system, when you go to fill out stuff, if you're answering questions about have you been incarcerated or have you um, been unemployed, um, have you been on TANF, and the other one is disabilities. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't even realize you're doing that for a company, but smaller companies don't have that. So we go in right. and tell them about that incentive through the Virginia um, Employment Commission, mm -hmm. see, and they get that tax break too. And some some of these um, you were talking about earlier, um, paid or not paid, but like internships. Internships, and, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and apprenticeships. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have a new grant um, called the Pathways Grant, where we're mm -hmm. working closer with uh, Doley, the Department of Labor and Industry. Mm -hmm. And so we get folks into um, those kind of apprenticeships. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, we had one person at uh, Greater Richmond office that um, wanted to do eye care. So we mm -hmm. got them in with four eyes. Mm -hmm. So they're in um, the apprenticeship mm -hmm. and they're they're getting paid to do the job while learning the job. And then they'll have the job when they're done. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So we work with them as well doing apprenticeships. 
And so the federal bonding program, what was that? So What's the that about? Federal bonding is uh, a program where you can work with the Department of Corrections mm -hmm. um, and they um, have $5,000 that they'll give in a bond um, that it's free to employers and it covers eligible employees for six months that might have been incarcerated. Mm -hmm. um, and so what that letter does, a lot of guys will get that letter, girls, guys and girls will get that letter and they'll go and they'll say, you have to hire me. I have this letter now. <laughs> um, and it's not particularly <laughs> like that. Um, what it is, is it's an incentive. So if you hire me, you'll have $5,000 bond for six months in case anything happens, mm -hmm. you'll be covered taking a risk on me and hiring me um, as right. an incarcerated or former incarcerated reentry uh, to uh, the <laughs> workforce. So um, we talked about, you know, what is DARS and what that process is and business services. Business services. So um, basically um, it starts off with placement counselors at each one of our offices. And that's mm -hmm. what I am. Um, placement counselors will basically, um, work with individuals um, that we get from the um, the uh, vocational counselors and we will compile resumes or do redo resumes. Uh, sometimes we want to get them through that automatic tracking through the uh, computers. Um, so we have to make sure all their stuff's on the resume. Mm -hmm. uh, we assist with applying um, so we can assist with applying for a position, assessing limitations and accommodations and employment. Um, and then what I also do as a placement counselor is I send job leads out to all my folks um, in the area and, and also job fairs. So when they're looking for jobs and say you're a potential employer, we can get your on the list um, or your job fair on the list and get that out to our folks that you're hiring. Mm -hmm. So to put business owners at ease, what are the strengths of those with dis those people with uh, individuals with disabilities? What are they? What are the strengths that they're bringing to the organization? So when you hire someone with a disability, um, you're bringing that um, sense of, you know, this is my sports team. So mm -hmm. your employment agency or your business is their sports team and they're wearing your color. So they got the uniform on. They're ready to work. They are going to be on time. Um, you know, they're going to they're going to be in uniform. They're um, sometimes going to need some additional training. Sometimes we work with what's called an employment service organization, a job coach to get them acclimated to the job mm -hmm. and get them into the job so they can um, see what the job's all about. And they can help that person communicate and do all the thing. Sometimes they don't need that person. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're, and they're learning the job. Um, and if they get frustrated, they'll call uh, the placement counselor or the business might call the business development manager uh, like Wes um, to see um, how they can further assist them or or what needs to happen for this particular individual. So sometimes, you know, there's a little bit of difficulty and we can come in and act as a partner in that whole transaction piece mm -hmm. to better ensure um, your, your client so um, or your potential employee. So basically you get that kind of extra uh, people on your caseload mm -hmm. mm -hmm. where you can assist them in finding the job and keeping the job, that right. retention piece of it. And they want to work. Yeah. They just want to have the opportunity to be able to, for their own self-image and their self-worth, I'm thinking, that give them the opportunity to go out and do a job, bring in some money, yes, and uh, and really be a representative of the company and to do well for them. Yeah. And that's a, a big thing, too, as far as um, finding um, folks, the jobs and and then wanting to work and wanting to get into a field. And when you see them get that job and have that sense of accomplishment, yeah. it's such an amazing thing. I had this one gentleman, he had work shirts and he would push his uh, chest out, puff his chest out every time I went to go visit him because <laughs> he had gotten that job. And he was so proud that he had name his name on his T-shirt mm -hmm. or on his you know work shirt. And he was so proud of getting that position. And um, it was such a neat thing when you see that sense of accomplishment, um, not only for that individual, but we have a lot of champions as far as businesses are concerned, too. Mm -hmm. And they champion this and they help other businesses understand what we're doing. So that's a big thing, too, mm -hmm. uh, to see um, and witness people so, change their minds. I know. So how do people get in touch with you? If they are interested in, you know, hiring somebody with a disability. So they could, um, you know, they could email myself. Um, they could also email um, Wes. Mm -hmm. um, my email is john, J-O-H-N dot 
Karusik, K-O-R-U-S-E-K at D-A-R-S mm-hmm. dot Virginia spelt out dot gov. Mm-hmm. And Wes's email is um, William um, dot S-E-A-T-O-N at Dars dot Virginia spelt out dot gov. Mm-hmm. And he is the business development manager. So he oversees um, our region um, and he basically goes up to Fredericksburg, to Williamsburg, to Petersburg. Northern. Yeah, he's all <laughs> over the place. Um, but basically the greater Richmond area is where mm-hmm. his focus is. Um, so you can find him, or find me. Then you'll get into one of our um, DARS facilities, um, get the paperwork, get in with the counselor, and we can get you on through their training and placement and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. And they're probably not going to quit on you. <laughs> no. Um, you know, <laughs> there are some, like I said, you know, with that work experience, piece, mm-hmm. um, sometimes with most people, I want to get them into their next career. However, um, they might be on that stopgap where mm-hmm. they're getting a little bit of um, work experience for the next thing. So they can kind of spruce up that resume uh, and get that resume rolling um, for their next opportunity. Um, so sometimes there is a stopgap. Mm-hmm. But most of the time we want to get them to that next job because we see their success, they see their success, and then we can move on to another client yeah. and get more people in there. I think for those businesses that are uh, so discouraged because they can't find people to come work for them, yes. this is a great avenue for those businesses as an you know alternative that they hadn't thought about. Yeah, and so they can come um, to talk to us. We can get them on our list. We can start sending out their job leads. Mm-hmm. We can start talking to them about some of these incentives. Um, you know, Wes and myself um, um, act as a one point of contact for workforce development services. So we might be offering DAR services. We might be offering one of our partner agency services. Mm-hmm. And we're kind of behind the scenes doing all that stuff. And some people don't even really know that they're getting other <laughs> services besides DARS, but that's just part of what we do for that uh-huh. one part of contact. So you won't have 12 people knocking down your door. Exactly. Because businesses are busy and we know that they're trying to hire people so they can do mm-hmm. what they need to do uh, in their business world. So what are some additional ways um, DARS business services can assist businesses to hire and retain employees with disabilities? So um, there is also, um, you know, like I said, I talked a little bit about the Pathways Grant. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the Pathways Grant is a is a new funding source. And you, earlier we were talking about funding and you were talking about how some of it goes unclaimed. Right. Um, and so some of these that we get are, go unclaimed. Um, so basically what it does is connects Virginians with uh, disabilities to education, training, industry recognized credentials needed for quality in, in, in um, high demand jobs. Um, each quarter, what we do is DARS, we highlight a particular career pathway. Mm-hmm. And so they can get on that um, career cafe to so learn more example, about those opportunities. So for, exa- like? so for example, like we were talking about warehousing. Mm-hmm. So they'll do one with warehousing. The next month they'll do food service. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next month they'll do health care. Okay. They'll focus on a different serve. And they'll have a business. Business. They'll have um, a training person. They'll have the clients all on like a um, virtual session where they can all interact with one another uh, to do that. And then, like I said, working closer with um, Department of Labor and Industry mm-hmm. um, to obtain those federal apprenticeships with the local employers. And then for the state, if you are a state employer, there's a new alternative hiring process that people can um, do. That alternative hiring process, they contact ours for a certificate of disability. And if they see the alternative hiring process pop up on a state application, they insert that certificate of disability that they receive Mm -hmm. from DARS. And some people think it's something they put on their wall. It's not that. (laughs) It's not a certificate like that. It's a certificate that says DARS has recognized this person has a disability. It doesn't say Uh what the disability is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just gives them that. And so we have found more state agencies now are contacting us to get in, involved in what we're doing because of this alternative hiring process mm-hmm. for our consumers. Well, and you were talking about the industries such as the service and healthcare and um, uh, food service, things like that. Well, those are the businesses that are struggling for empl- to get people to work for them. Yes. And so all of those businesses can um, contact us, get on our list. We can go through um, the people at our particular spot. If you're in, a, in another location, we'll get you in touch with that person mm-hmm. in a different location, a different office to get in touch with them and their business service folks. Um, but like I said, West covers that this major right. area here, but we have um, other um, business development managers that cover the state. Mm-hmm. So all around the state of Virginia, 
if you have a business and you're looking to um, get some folks hired, mm -hmm. DARS can get people in there with disabilities and, and tick off some of those that mm -hmm. you need and you've been looking for people. So um, they're looking for part-time and full-time work with different backgrounds and different abilities. Mm -hmm. Anybody do radio? I Sound? Well, <laughs> we have had some uh, recently that were looking for music related jobs and I'm always upfront and honest when I talk to somebody and I said I don't think there's any music related jobs out there but I did and was able to find them I'm not sure if it was five or ten jobs over the past six months mm -hmm. but I was able to send them some job opportunities I don't know if it was ready or by chance. <laughs> Uh, if there's any of those jobs, maybe I could do one of those. Uh, but uh, they they probably wouldn't want to lose me over Dars doing the placement uh, with them. So, but definitely, I mean, any any kind of industry that you're thinking about, and people are 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 the businesses are held by that federal standard that they have to hire people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. They have to hire people that have been incarcerated. They have to hire people that are veterans. They have to hire regular folks. Mm -hmm. So we can help you meet all of those needs. So you're basically checking the box and saying, hey, I did what was required for the federal government. I hired people with disabilities. I hired people with with um, backgrounds. I hired uh, people that you know maybe have been unemployed or whatnot, basically looking for newer jobs. So we're going to tick all those boxes that people are looking for. And like I said, if you're looking for people that are 18, you're looking for people with a 16, you're looking for people with a 21 or over, we mm -hmm. deal with all of the population and each one of our clients are different. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned, we were talking earlier about veterans. Yes. And so those who have come back from war and have a disability. Yeah. And so um, you have other agencies that can help, mm -hmm. like the Department of Veteran Affairs can mm -hmm. help. Um, you know, they also can go to their um, local um, VA um, and our VA here is really good. But we also have services for people that have disabilities, too, that are coming back with an unseen or seen disability mm -hmm. where we can assist them uh, in those jobs. And then there's other, other um, federal workforce agencies or city workforce agencies. So we partner up with all of those where we can provide services. If you're um, looking for um, a place to stay, you're, you don't have a home. Mm -hmm. We have services for um, that we can point you towards that. If you're looking for transportation, we have some things that we can help with that. Um, clothing, all kinds of different things. Sometimes people need a bicycle. We've been able to, um, get in the to past, work, get, get the bicycle. Time. Yeah. So if it has to do with work-related stuff, we can do that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes our agency might not be able to, but other agencies that we work with might be able to provide that for an individual. Mm -hmm. So I would love for you to share a story, a okay. success story. A success story, uh -huh. somebody getting, mm -hmm. getting work. Somebody who with a disability, and you can kind of share what that disability is, so, you know, the listeners can relate and how they, you know, how they, how they were successful. Well, I'll, I'll tell you a story about uh, this one mm -hmm. um, guy that I know. We He wanted to get a job at Walmart, mm -hmm. and he wanted to work at Walmart, stocking shelves. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't get him a job at Walmart, but I did get him a job at a grocery store, and it was right near his house, which his mom was really thankful for because she was the one providing transportation for him. So she would provide him transportation back and forth, and he was working this job. Um, and at the time, I was a job coach for one of our employment service organizations, and I had to go back in because his boss came back from vacation and said he's not doing the job correctly. I was like, oh, man. So we went back in. We um, started a new plan, got him straight on the job, and so he was doing well. This was the same gentleman I was telling you about the shirt. Uh -huh. he got another job working on trucks. And then he got work gear and I would still go and check on him. Mm -hmm. And he would all the time show me his <laughs> his uh, name. And I thought that was so awesome because he was so proud to be working. Here was a, a kid right out of high school, hardly had any experience. We got him a job making, I think, like five or six more dollars than what I made when I was, uh, you know, in high school. Yeah. And then he got his second job, which almost doubled his income. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, helped him, but it also helped his family. Right. Um, because it was his mom and his dad and him. And so he was able to contribute. And which, he was so happy. Yeah, which makes him feel good that, you know, it's there's a lot of expenses with disabilities and being able to help cover some of those costs is huge. Yeah. And we've, we have so many success stories and people that are, you know, getting employment um, in different fields. It's just um, amazing the type of work and the, the benefit that you can see when you see that person get that job and get that newness of the new job and how they feel and what it does for them. Mm -hmm. And it just, um, and sometimes when 
they didn't think so. Mom and dad didn't think so. Maybe the teachers didn't think so. And they get out there in the community and they get this job and you're a part of that. And, you know, that, that old adage, it takes a community. Mm -hmm. it, it does. And DARS is part of that community that can help uh, folks with disabilities find those positions and, mm -hmm. and, and work with employers um, like-minded and, and those that aren't. We want to work with all employers and hopefully get you into this championship employer uh, status, too. Uh, so that's that's a good thing as well. And the championship employer status is what? It's it's just uh, we do champions every uh -huh. year. And so employers can get an award for working with those with disabilities. Mm -hmm. I think I've been to those luncheons. Yes. Yes. So I've that's a really neat thing, too. So that's mm -hmm. on the other side. That's businesses coming in and saying, look what I did over right. this year working with folks with disabilities. Look mm -hmm. how many people we got employed with disabilities. Um, and and other they're normally working with our partner agencies too. Mm -hmm. So they've gotten partner agency jobs uh, for their clients too. So yeah. it's a it's a success all the way around. So how do they get in touch with you again? Um, you can contact me. It's uh, John J O H N mm -hmm. dot K O R U S E K at Dars dot Virginia spelled out dot gov. Mm -hmm. John, I am so excited that you are here and able to share your experience working with those with disabilities, um, helping them get placed in jobs to, so they're contributing members of society basically. And uh, they're helping businesses where businesses were struggling, getting the job done. Um, it's just a, a huge resource and an amazing resource for those businesses out in the greater Richmond area or in, and across the state. Um, so the, for those of you that are listening, if you are struggling getting people to apply for jobs, bringing people on board, no one is really interested or they're just checking the box so they can get unemployment that they're actually searching when they're really not. Um, check out the department of, which is DARS, the uh, department, Virginia Department of for Aging and Rehabilitative Services. And see what they have to offer where you can get a great employee with the assistance from DARS to make sure that that uh, person is going to succeed and that you are as well. So thank you, John, for being here. Thank I so, so appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me. Appreciate so appreciate it. it. So that's going to do it for us today. Thank you for listening to Talking Leadership with me, Dr. Heather Williamson, your leadership doc on ESPN 106.1 FM. So if you want to improve your leadership skills, check out my website at www.transformationgroupllc.com and check out the leadership executive coaching services that we offer. And until next time, have a great day. Bye. Bye.